It continues to be a mess after a massive fire shut down the southbound lanes of I-471. Tomorrow marks one week it's been closed. Chancellor Wynn joins us live after speaking with ODOT about all the delays, and they still don't have a timetable on when this could possibly be reopened, correct? Yeah, that timetable is really up in the air. It could be weeks, it could be months. Really what's going to come down to opening up and this congestion is going to be opening up the bridge. And it's not just the interstates. We're here on East Pete Rose Way. As you can see, this road is currently closed as well. And that's causing delays down here. But again, this road might open up a little bit earlier than the interstate, but I-471 southbound, the bridge itself is going to be closed and that's going to continue adding to this congestion for weeks or even months. Definitely has a fallout effect. When you close down a major artery like I-471. This is what traffic looks like heading southbound on I-471. As the exit to the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge remains closed. The bridge caught fire last Friday. Ohio Department of Transportation District 8 Public Information Officer Kathleen Fuller says the roughly 100,000 cars that typically travel across the Big Mac Bridge are now having to find alternate routes. They're looking at using I-7175 and the Brent Spence Bridge possibly the Taylor Southgate Bridge. That's the route ODOT is detouring drivers, but Fuller says she understands people are using other routes like the Clay Wade Bailey Bridge and the Roebling Bridge. I think in the neighborhood of 13,000 motorists or vehicles on the uh, Taylor Southgate Bridge, typically around 16,000 on the Clay Wade Bailey, and I think around 9,000 on the Roebling. That's the average number of vehicles those bridges typically see. Now a portion of those 100,000 motorists detouring from the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge are adding to those numbers and adding to the congestion. There's really nothing that we, you know, you know we can do, unfortunately, but get the bridge open to traffic. So that's what we're working on. Uh, but that's going to take some time. Pete Rose Way and Riverside Drive also remain closed, but Fuller says that stretch of road underneath the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge could open up a bit sooner than the bridge itself. We do have to keep that closed until we can get that sh those shoring towers erected. We are very hopeful that once those are in place and they're stabilizing the structure, that we'll be re able to reopen traffic under the bridge. Now, ODOT says the hope is to have those shearing towers installed early next week. And if that does stabilize the clay, the, the bridge that's here, that one that caught on fire on Friday, if that stabilizes the bridge, then this area, East Pete Rose Way and Riverside Drive, could be reopening. But it is still uncertain because they don't want to put anybody's safety at risk. That includes construction workers, crews, and, of course, drivers and pedestrians. But for now, reporting live with photojournalist Philip Krinsky, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you.